NBA tonight off and rolling. Cassidy Hubbard alongside Tim Legler, who called tonight's Warriors Grizzlies game the single most important NBA game this season. Absolutely. Why? Because the top seed with their backs against the wall looking to avoid falling in a 3 1 hole. Let's go to the highlight. Warriors at the grindhouse. Now that it's going to be a three game series. Well, here's the key for me, and I, I think you saw it in this game. We talked a lot about Steph Curry had to get going. We saw that tonight. You're going to see a much better defensive effort out of them, and now they've got to be creative in how they get Marcus and Zach Grant off the ball down low with space because they just were relying too much on direct post ups, and Golden State was locked into that. They've got to get these guys moving a little bit first before they catch the basketball because everything revolves around those two guys being productive in the lane. So, do you still have the Warriors winning this? Uh, series? Yeah, the Golden State was the best team in the league for a reason. Reason. They got home court back. I think you have to look at Golden State now as the favorite to win this series. All right, game five is Wednesday at 1030. Coming up on NBA. Welcome back to Sports Center. Prim Sarifapat here with you. To win an NBA title, every team needs at least one player who's going to step up in those critical moments. Someone who's fearless, who's not afraid of the big stage, and wants that ball in his or her hands when the game is on the line. For the Bulls, that's Derrick Rose. For the Cavaliers, it's a two-time NBA champion, LeBron James. And for the Wizards, they learned that it can be their 17-year veteran, Paul Pierce. So here's a look back at what was an epic buzzer-beaten weekend. And yet it seems so long time ago, right? I know. It's been uh, a little bit now. He is a five-time All-Star with five World Series rings, who has a new tell-all book titled The Journey Home, My Life in Pinstripes. When we're yanking the people through the first 32 games of the season, they're sitting atop the AL East at 20 and 12, one last three, three out of the four at one point won seven of the last eight so what's impressed you the most about them they're pitching very well you know they're pitching good they reels and somebody that's really struggled with his health over the past you know several seasons I want to talk about your former teammate now yeah. Alex Rodriguez and another milestone for him as we saw him pass Willie Mays with his 661st home run and this is a guy that's been very well Bryce Harper is a guy who Still has a ways to go to catch up to that number, but he's playing, been playing so amazing. He has 66 home runs so far and counting. And it's been three years since he got the call up and just playing amazing. Old, <laughs> but it's nice to have some new faces that come on to the, and burst yeah. onto the scene, right? So you have a new book titled The Journey Home, My Life in Pinstripes. And writing a book seems to be a very difficult, sometimes arduous process, but it yeah. can also be very therapeutic. So what was that process like for you? It was fun. It was a lot of fun to go back and remember a lot of the things that, that happened.